after we added the points and the polygons and the lines, the next thing we will do is to actually add uh, edit the attributes for it, like the table or data for it. And the way to do this is by coming here and select any feature and right click on it and say attributes. That's one option. So you can come here and edit any fields you have. For example, this line here, let's call this a street, street one. Right click, attributes, name. I'm going to call this street one. I'm going to copy it. And now this is a street one. That's the name of the street. This one way to edit any feature is to right click and click attributes. The other way, which is I prefer if you are editing so many data is to right click on the actual layer and open the attribute table. And because you are in an editing session, you will be able to select any feature. So when you select it from here, you're going to highlight it. So this one here, and I can name this one street two and select another one street three. And that's where one way to another way to edit the attributes. As you see, we already have the shape calculated, but I have a field that called length and it's all null. And there is a, a really nice way to calculate the length for each line is by clicking on this line here and right click and say calculate geometry. And calculate geometry will allow you to calculate the length or the options for the lines is to calculate the length or the x coordinate for the line start or the line edit but we're going to calculate the length right now and we can choose how you want the length to be so for example we're going to make it in miles right now say okay and because we have this one selected it made it for this one only we're going to clear the selection by doing this and do the same thing again for all the fields for all the records and select it to be miles and OK. And all the fields have been calculated. And this is actual length. Uh, you're going to wonder why the length here is different, because this is in meters. And we set it up to be meters when we actually created the feature class in the previous lesson. And to show you this, we're going to do it again and make it meters. And now you will see the values is the same. But because we make it miles, it's different values. Right now, if I want to add uh, another field at this point, let's say, for example, I want to add a field inside the intersection, uh, intersection name. I want to say I want we want to add X and Y for each point or each intersection. Uh, the way you do this is you come here, table, table options, you click the drop down and you select add field but it's disabled right now. And the reason it's disabled is because you cannot actually add a field when you have an editing session open. What you need to do is to save your edits, stop your editing, and come back here again. And now you have it open. Now you can add a field. Let's call it X, and it's going to be double. OK. And another one, call it Y. And let's make it double. And if you want, while your, your editing session is um, not like you, you don't have an open editing session, you cannot actually change any thing in the attributes. You have to open an editing session. You have to select again the feature classes. And now I can make intersection int1 and do this. For the X and Y, we're going to do the same thing for the geometry calculation. And because this is a point, it shows us the options for the point. And the, the options for the point is either the X coordinate or the Y coordinate only. We need the X in meters. That's fine. And say OK. And the Y, we're going to make it in meters as well, Y coordinate and OK. And this is an easy way for you to draw points as much as you want and then just generate the X and Y from it directly using this method. Uh, right now, we finished drawing our uh, feature classes. We show how we can add fields. We show how we can edit the attribute tables. So let's close this and ed finish the editing session for this one. Yes, I want to save it. At the end of this video, I want to thank you so much for having the time to watch the video. If you are interested to learn more about ArcGIS products, please go to arcgismastery.com. And you will see that we have a lot of selection for online training courses. 
starting by ArcGIS Desktop and another products like ArcGIS Online, ArcGIS Pro, ArcGIS Enterprise, and so many more. We also have coming courses that you can subscribe to and enroll right now and get a 50% discount. And we will appreciate it if you leave a comment below and let us know what exactly you need to see in this course so we include it in the course for you. And lastly, I will encourage you so much to subscribe to our monthly updates so you can stay updated with what Esri do. At the end, I wish you all the best and thank you so much for watching this video.